We've committed to building homes in carefully planned new communities with schools, open spaces and more. The Reverend Tonya Elliott and her family are now enjoying life in our thriving new community at Arborfield. Hi, I'm Tonya Elliott. I'm the Community Minister here in Arborfield Green and I live here with my family and my golden retriever dog Digby. I moved here in 2018 and I actually came here for my job role which is to be around for the community in Arborfield Green. Day to day I always walk my dog to see if there's anybody out there and I can just have a little chat because it's such a lovely area to walk in and lots of people have got dogs now so I get to know loads of people by just walking around. So generally doing a lot of that visit people who may be housebound and isolated. It's really vibrant and a lot of people are now looking at starting up new businesses and they just find that working from home, this is the environment they want to work in because it's got lovely walks around and they feel comfortable in this area. I'd moved from the middle of a town where there was very little green space. And so when we arrived here and saw the meadows around where the dog was in his element running around the meadows in California Country Park, which is absolutely stunning. Uh, so having that on our doorstep, it was just amazing to live in such a beautiful place. My husband leads the running group in the community. So they meet every Wednesday night and they go running again around the lovely area that we live in. Bohun Secondary Schools in the area. Uh, it's a really wonderful secondary school, really modern, has all the facilities any, any student could want and require. So I think the schools see themselves very much as part of the community. They want to be there for the community as well as we want to be there to help them. And a lot of the, the, the students from the school do live in this area. Again, so you see them all cycling to school on a morning, you know, you just get to know who they are generally. So it's a, it's, it feels like a safe place for the students to live. So during the lockdown, my role had quite a mixture of things going on. I started up the Good Neighbourhood and we made sure that everybody was taken care of and there was an email address people could contact. We delivered medicines to people sometimes. So there was still a community a sense of people wanting to help each other through everything. I think people are just really grateful to feel that they have a community where maybe where they were living before they didn't feel they had anywhere to walk to for a start but they didn't know the neighbours often either so I think that's what people seem to say to me. They like living here because they're just really glad to have like really friendly neighbours and to be able to see people. I definitely do think there's a, the joined up right and so to speak has really helped the community, you know, with the council working with the developers and our work with the developers and the council. It's just a really sense that we are all trying to make this a really good place to live from the council to the developers and, and everybody else 